Let me show you how I transformed this unused area in my basement into a small hydroponic farm for growing my own produce. I started by clearing out the area and installing a wire shelving rack. I've used these for hydroponics in the past and they allow for simple adjustment of the rack height and are easy to hang lights from. I set up the shelves for two systems stacked vertically. Then I installed the grow lights. I used LED tube lights 42 watts each. I used the included zip ties to attach them directly to the shelf above, maximizing vertical space. I attached reflective material around the back and sides of the rack to maximize light output. Next, I set up my hydroponic rail systems. This is a DIY hydroponic system design that I've been using for several years. It's very productive and can grow a wide variety of produce. I won't go into the details of how I built it in this video, but check out my website for a free build guide. Once I set up the rails and connected them together, I attached tubing to the inlet and outlet fittings of the rails. This will allow water and nutrients to circulate through the system. The reservoir goes on the bottom shelf. It will hold the nutrient solution. I drilled holes in the lid to allow for tubing to enter the reservoir and connect to the pumps. I used two submersible pumps, one for each system, and connected them to the inlet tubing. You could run both systems from one pump, where the top system drains into the lower system, but for this setup I wanted them separate so I can do some comparison testing between the systems. I connected the pumps and lights to a smart timer so that I can control their routine from my phone. After adding water and nutrients to the reservoir, my hydroponic farm is set up and ready for plants. The system is designed to have a continual supply of produce, therefore I only need to add a few plants each week. I plant the seeds inside a seed plug for germination, place the seed plug into a net cup, and place the net cup into one of the seedling holes in the system. The system is designed to keep the seedling plugs moist, meaning I don't need to do any manual watering during the germination stage. After several weeks of maintaining the planting rhythm, my new little hydroponic farm is full of growth and ready for harvest. As you can see, this whole process is not complicated, and what you can do with just a few square feet of empty space is pretty amazing. If you want to know more about the materials I used, I put links to everything on the materials page on my site, which I will link in the description. Also, when you stop by our site, be sure to grab the free PDF guide to building a hydroponic rail system. Thanks for watching.